This video will introduce you to Tester, the Open Splice automated testing and debugging tool. Tester is a non-intrusive black box test tool that will help you with debugging of your Open Splice systems, capturing in real time the data in your system and analyzing it and visualizing it. It also supports automated testing using a proprietary script engine and a domain specific DDS testing language. Tester connects to a single local or remote instance of OpenSplice, which is specified by the domain URI. Tester allows you to browse your system, looking at the nodes, the application software, the reader's writers for a particular application, or looking at the participants and the readers and writers for each participant. Tester can be used to identify problems reading or writing topics. In this case, I have a problem caused by a quality of service mismatch between the writer participant and the reader. The Add Readers, Add Writers buttons allow me to dynamically create a reader for any topic in the system. I am using to create readers for the triangle and square topics. As you can see, I am collecting samples. If I look at the sample list, I can see a display of the corrected samples. I can manually start and stop collection of samples, use a checkbox in the readers list to control the display of topic samples, or I can use the filter mechanisms in the sample list. In this case, I'm filtering on topic and key to show only the red triangles. I can inspect individual samples by stepping through on a sample by sample basis, or the same topic, or the same instance, in this case, blue. Triangle. I can select extra fields to display with each sample. In this case, the X and Y coordinates of each shape. Tester supports the concept of virtual fields. These are defined externally using a scripting language of your choice, in this case, JavaScript. So I'm able to add operations based on the topic data. Now I can select one of my extra fields, in this case, minus Y, and it will be added to the display. You can also create readers from the topics list. Here I'll create a default reader for the circle topic. Once I have set up the readers that I want, I can save them for future use in a readers list. In this case, my readers, which I could restore for future testing. Tester can be used to chart sample data. Here I'll chart the X and minus Y coordinates of green shapes. Tester can also be used to write samples. I'm going to create a reader for the OSPL test topic we provide. Just use the default values. And now I can edit a sample and it present me the menu of the topic fields. And I just can fill them in. I have a drop down menus for enumerations. I can use control T to generate a time value. If I select an existing sample as a starting point, it will initialize it with the values of that sample. So, Tester's auto scripting feature allows you to convert a set of samples into script commands that can be run as a test scenario. Tester provides a simple debugger to help monitor script execution. Script commands can be created from the edit sample window. I can use them to write a sample or even check a sample which validates the sample exists. Script editor supports topic aware code completion, making it much easier to hand write test scenarios. Scripts are written in a custom language that has been designed specifically for DDS testing. If you need to do more general purpose programming, you can embed any script that is compatible with the JavaScript engine factory into a tester script. In this case, I'm using JavaScript to do some advanced charting. For repeating test patterns, you can create macros, which are scripts with input parameters. Scripts can be assembled into batches for regression testing. Batches are special script files that are loaded and executed using their own monitor. You can see the results 
or they can be loaded and reviewed after the fact. The batch results will show me the details of the script that was run, as well as a detailed report on the, on the execution of the script. Esser supports headless operations. Here I'm going to run the same batch script in headless mode and load the results and compare them to my previous results. This concludes our introduction to OpenSplice Tester. More information is available online.